I've always enjoyed shooting with Nikon cameras. My first digital camera, a real digital camera, was a Nikon camera. And uh, the experience of shooting with them I found was good. Um, the lenses were pretty good. Um, so when I started investing in film cameras and I noticed that Nikon cameras, Nikon film cameras were pretty pricey, I mostly focused on others like Minotas, which are actually really good as well, and Canon. So my collection is filled with Minota, Canons, and even Olympus cameras. Nikon cameras, I don't have a lot of them. I only have the Nikon EM, I have two of those, and I also have the Nikon um, FM2, uh, which I did a review of some time ago, and I showcased some images from there, and I talked about how beautiful and just luxurious that camera felt, just shooting with that camera. For the Nikon EM cameras, I've never done a review of them, but lately, I decided to take one of them for a spin and I have been shooting with this camera for the last, I would say the last couple of weeks or so, shooting my, my family at key moments and just getting the hang of this camera. And I must say, just maybe a pre-review, this is a real gem. This little camera here is a real gem. So, I mean, knowing that I love shooting with Nikons and, um, knowing that experience has always been great for me. I started looking at different options to add to my collection of film cameras. So uh, recently I went online and I, got, I, I purchased a Nikon F50, which is an automatic camera. It's unlike the Nikon EM and the Nikon FM2 that I have. Um, this one is automatic, so it can actually take advantage of uh, the automatic lenses. And uh, just a sidebar here, I uh, sold my digital camera, my Nikon digital camera. Um, so when I sold it though, I had two lenses with that camera. I had the kit lens, which was about a 50 millimeter lens, and then I had a zoom lens, which I really like. I sold the camera with the, with the kit lens and I still have that zoom lens, which is an automatic lens. So I have that lens and I decided to, why not get an automatic camera to, to pair up with that zoom lens, which I have now sitting in my drawer. It's a modern lens. So that would be another episode in the future, trying to uh, pair a film camera with a modern lens and see uh, the differences between that and a more vintage lens. So let's get to the unboxing of this camera. It's a Nikon F50. As usual, the Japanese sellers, as I always mention on this channel, they never disappoint with their packaging. Always on point with... Oh, this is actually quite interesting. This is like... Um, uh, soft fleece material. It's a bag. Oh, the camera just fell up. And here is the Nikon F50 bus. Oh, look, I didn't even know that it had this feature. This is the panorama uh, feature, so it can't it can take panorama images which usually is just a mask that's put on. Uh, let's open the back and see. So if you turn on the panorama, what does it do? Let's see. Uh, did you notice that? Look at that. It just adds a little uh, mask to the top and the bottom. Yeah, so just like that. But the insides, look at that. The curtain is beautiful, shadow curtain. It looks very clean. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, guys. This looks like it's in good shape. I'm gonna put some batteries in there later and test it out. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else is in this. And it says, thank you. And if you're Japanese and you know what this says, 
please put that in the comment section below. The mirror is in really good shape. It looks so new, to be honest. It looks like this camera was barely used. And size-wise, you can see the difference between the Nikon EM and this Nikon F50 camera. You can see that it's, um, it's slightly bigger. Weight-wise, I would say it's about the same weight. Um, even with this, with the with the lens on, this is it's not too heavy, but it's it's pretty sizable. It feels hefty, um, even though this is plastic, and this is mostly uh, metal, I think. Um, this feels quite durable as well. You know, it's quite beautiful actually. I like it. It has the flash built-in flash which could come in handy um, so I'm just gonna take off this lens here and I'll put it on this to see if it most likely will work it should work the only uh, issue is that you can't do autofocus once you put these uh, manual lenses on there so let's see and see it mounts perfectly but now with this, it will just be a manual focus, right? It's perfect. I love it, guys. It's a really nice looking camera, to be honest. Look at that. So I am pleased to have this Nikon F50 in my collection. This actually feels really good in the hand. It's quite ergonomic. I love this grip. This grip is very natural for me and this having the shutter release button right up here is so natural the viewfinder i can't really tell now because the lens is not on but the viewfinder is large enough to not pose a pro problem for me i find and um, this camera will be taken through its paces and i'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys if you enjoyed this video please leave this video a like. So until the next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe.